Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from IBG and this is more of a combo release because as you can see here we get even the uh, quite long name it's Italian Autocanone 3 are all with uh, gun I will not say the number, you can see it your own eyes but we have also the crew of uh, out of uh, four figurines so on the box art we are uh, having the exact I would say description of what we will get and all of this is molded in 135 scale so that's why I'm saying it sounds like quite a combo and that's why I think it's interesting to check it closer together with you in this video and first of all I have to say that the box size is standard for this kit so here is comparison with my hand we have quite nice box art by the way here on the side you can see the pictures of the assembled model or I would say the diorama and as you can see it's quite colorful and there is plenty of space to play with the weathering and here on the other side you can see also the picture of the vehicle and the 3D image of the figurines but I think it's not important let's just open it and take a look at what is inside this is top opening box and it's a bit of a tight fitment that's why I took it off the table just to make it a bit faster and maybe it's time also to adjust a bit the cutting mat because I can see it's misaligned okay so uh, each frame is packed into a separate plastic bag so it will take a bit of a time but we will go one by one and we will take a look at what is actually supplied here out of the box and as you saw the first frame is not that huge so that's why it might be worth zooming in and taking a closer look this way so here we have the various equipment for the figurines and as far as you can see this sprue is supplied in two pieces here is the second one so this equipment might be handy for uh, some variety in the figurines of course you don't have to use everything at once and maybe some of those items might stay for your future projects who knows but the overall quality looks fine and I don't see any possible issues here um, except of the painting let's say process because it will take some time to paint such items but it's typical for a 135 scale stuff next we continue with the figurines so here is the first guy and as you can guess uh, the poses are predefined so there is not that much of uh, things to change but still we get the hands molded separately so it will help you to align the figurines with the vehicle because the figurines uh, some of the figurines should be actually installed directly onto the gun so that's why it's uh, quite important to have them aligned properly and the next figurine is even more interesting in my opinion because here we get the officer with this uh, special uh, tool to be louder so as you can see or loudspeaker if you prefer so uh, here we have the um, uh, commander which was standing in front of the truck and again pretty much the same design of the parts and also if I flip it over here inside you can see that we have some guiding elements for the legs at least and also for the torso but not for the hands as far as you can see it's just uh, special recessed points but it doesn't mean that they will be installed precisely into the uh, body swords so that's why you have to pay attention while working with such stuff and what I'm doing right now is opening another plastic bag as you can hear and here I can see mix of the spruce so just give me a second to take everything out remove this sprue off the table and then we start with this gray plastic sprue so here we have the first parts for the truck and I guess that's the time to zoom out a bit as you can see these are the wheel fenders we also have some wooden panels here and overall it looks like a fine design I mean usually the IBG trucks are quite good in terms of the parts division so I think this one is not an exclusion from the rule we also have some separate parts for the main gun as you can see these are two seats and they are absolutely identical Next, we continue with uh, another pair of identical frames and I guess those parts which we are checking right now are specific for the gun version because as you can see here we have also anti-recoil legs and also here we have some uh, special suspension devices so everything looks really nice and again there is no modern damage whatsoever I really appreciate that the parts look clean and crisp and even today I'm saying that this is a quite a good thing because some of the brands still manage to do the kits with the parts in a flash next suddenly we have the ziplock bag and 
here we have the pair of the identical plastic spruce and that's because we get the wheel parts here so I will zoom in a bit and now you can see that the side walls of the tires are actually promoted with the wheel rims and that's because we have the features on the tires uh, which is quite cool but it will also require some careful assembly in order to get the smooth finish so that it won't look like assembled out of separate sections I guess it's doable just pay attention to how those parts will be fitting together and then it should be all right next we have another figurine and again the same design of the parts we have some guiding elements here and uh, the sculpting quality is actually quite impressive as well so in case you wondered uh, whether these features are sufficient for the plastic figurine in my opinion yes and the size of the figurine is also more or less reasonable because I know some of you were writing in the comments that some of the figurines are quite small from different brands well here we get them more or less all right sized and here you can see another guy so here you can actually take a really good look at the size because one cell is centimeter by centimeter so it's easy to understand how big is this guy and here we also get the torso which is molded together with the legs so this will speed up the assembly process a bit and next we have something for the truck as far as you can see so just give me a second these are the parts for the front cab I guess so these are the separate panels and they should be easy to combine as well and that's again because we have the guiding elements here so it's quite a smart design the only thing uh, is that on the wooden panels we do not have any wooden texture so in case you were expecting this you will have to do it or you will have to do the wooden weathering by your own but I think it's not such a difficult task and I would rather prefer to have uh, smooth panels and then just to replicate the wood texture if necessary because it's usually a better solution in 135 scale next I'm tearing apart another plastic bag so here we have the parts for the gun and uh, I was just interested in what is this part so I guess we'll have to check the assembly manual but again a lot of small parts and I can see that the uh, level of details is really impressive so for example if I zoom in here you can see this quite interesting mechanism I guess that's for the adjusting the position of the gun and the thin parts look all right as well what is not cool it's what we see on the next sprue because we get the main barrel which should be assembled out of two house and I'm not sure if there is actually a replacement uh, from aftermarket available so you have to carefully join them together nevertheless this armored shield looks good with these external rivets and here we can see also the inner features for this part and again there are guiding elements guiding pins in this main gun barrel halves but I think it would be better to get the one piece part instead next I'm trying to open one more plastic bag and here it's quite funny because it's a bit of a over sealed let's say so let's remove this plastic sprue and let's go with the next one which also carries the fenders we also have the large bars for the main chassis we have some parts for the interior this is definitely the seat it's interesting that we get two panels for the or two house for the engine block we also get two panels for the engine bonnet so maybe you can assemble the open bonnet position as well and as you can see inside again we get some guiding elements but what is interesting that on the engine the guiding elements are actually the raised edges and that's pretty much all you get here so be careful while working with such thing because it's usually a bit tricky to get everything precisely together and as for the suspension we get a lot of small parts so it's a 135 scale so be ready to work with all of this stuff and I think the final result will only benefit from such thing but it will also consume a bit of uh, extra time because it's uh, obviously uh, additional effort from you needed next we have another pair of the plastic sprues so I just opened them here we have another set of the panels 
It's quite interesting is what is this part? I guess it will be some uh, support for the main gun, but it's quite surprising that it's actually molded as a one piece part. And this part comes as a single piece, but then we get the barrel which is assembled out of two halves. And also this part looks interesting. I guess that's also for the open section of the truck, but we will check it in the assembly manual. Uh, what I'm sure is that this is the four panel. As you can see, we have the guiding element for the main gun installation. And also if I flip it over, Inside we get also some guiding elements for some inner structure. So quite a smart design again. And I'm really glad that all of these uh, guiding elements are well thought through and it's not like something where you will have to try to guess how to install the parts. Next, another pair of plastic sprues. And I guess these two will be the last ones. So here we get more parts for the engine and for the suspension. So surprisingly the suspension parts will be also quite nicely detailed. And also we get the leaf springs which are molded separately on the next sprue here, you can see it. And also some of the engine bonnet uh, panels. So everything looks fine and I think it should be possible to open the bonnet. Otherwise it would be really strange to get the bonnet panels as the separate sub-assemblies. And then we continue also with the clear parts, which are packed nicely in the separate ziplock bag. So here they are. Uh, the masks should not be included here, because usually IBG does not include such things. So you will have to cover those parts with your own stickers. Nevertheless, we get the plastic wheels. So as you remember, the wheel rims had the um, uh, section of the tire wall molded together. So here we have another section from the opposite side. And again we have quite nice uh, features on the tire walls. And also tire pattern looks good. And here you can see this cut out for the bigger portion of the tire wall. Which is okay I would say. As long as you carefully get everything together then it should be alright. Next I will have to use the scissors because here I have this sealed plastic bag with the P fret and decals. So I will try to be very quick so that we can see what we actually get here. So P fret and decals. Uh, decals are coming from tech mod. So here you can see them. And all of these symbols look quite okay. Usually I don't have issues with IBG decals. I guess this is also the case and they should be easy to apply. But we also get the P parts and there are surprisingly a lot of them. So as you can see, you have to do plenty of work and some of them are really tiny. And maybe in some cases I would even recommend to get the P bender because otherwise you won't be able to get the precise result. But I think it is somewhat expected with such a complex object such as this gun on the truck and then we continue with assembly manuals so why I'm saying this because we get the two brochures so I will just zoom out a bit and as you can see it is printed in color we get the um, uh, parts map inside here we have the paints chart but no history note unfortunately so here is the parts map and note that unused parts are not marked and assembly process surprisingly starts with the wheels then we continue with an engine and wheel axles the main chassis here the suspension gets on the next page a lot of PE parts getting engaged on the first steps already then we continue with uh, more parts being assembled for the fuel tank, for example, wheels being installed. And then here we start working on the front cap. And I have to say that there are a lot of features actually copied inside the front cap. So it might be actually worth opening one of the doors because the doors are separate. So you can use this opportunity. And the same can be said about this bonnet because as you can see, manufacturer shows that you should close the bonnet and engine will be hidden inside. But who stops you from showing this engine actually and uh, building some diorama around this idea. Then we continue with the four panel. So this large one piece part is actually installed below the four panel. Then we continue with the gun. And as you remember, the gun should be assembled, I mean, the barrel should be assembled out of several parts. Then we continue with some elements being installed onto the floor. These are some storage boxes and also some PE parts being used. And also you can see to build gun in firing position, you should follow the next steps. So here, as you can see, we have some different uh, alignment of the parts. So this anti-recoil legs being deployed. 
and also some new PE parts being used. We also have the gun installation on the last stages. And here you can see also that's the transport position, I guess. So the legs are raised and that's why the uh, vehicle is ready to be moving. And here you can see one of the, uh, well, it's the only marking option. But I guess the separate assembly manual is actually used for the figurines because here it is printed on the separate page. We have the parts map and the paint chart. And here you can see the figurines placement and the marking guide. So overall, I think it's a really cool combo in a 135 scale and it should be already available. So you can get it on IBG official website and of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion so do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye